What's good guys? I'm coming to you from my college dorm at the College of William & Mary. Um, and I'm here to tell you today about my experience trying to walk on to the baseball team here. So once I knew I was interested in trying to walk on the Divi Division One level, I tried to do a lot of research like to learn about what this process was like. Like I really knew nothing about it. And I honestly really could not find much on how to walk on a team. Uh, so that's why I'm making this video today for you guys. And hopefully I can, my experience can help you guys, anyone out there is interested, or you might find yourself interested in the future. But yeah, let's get into it. For those who don't know about William & Mary, they are a D1 school. Um, they play in the CAA. It's definitely lower tier D1. Um, they like SEC. It's not a very big school. There's like 7,000 students here. So basically, my recruitment story throughout high school, I never really knew if I wanted to play in college until summer after my junior year. I had a really good high school season and um, decided to look into it to some more. Um, went to a few showcases, talked to some schools, um, but I really wasn't feeling it, feeling the D3 vibe. Um, so I decided I'd just try to walk on wherever I ended up going. And that was William & Mary. I got in without baseball or anything. So basically once I knew I wanted to go here, I um, asked my high school coach about like, the whole walk-on process. Like how does it work? Like I definitely wanted to you know, give it a shot, why not? Um, see if I could somehow take my talents to the next level. So actually a crazy coincidence was that my high school coach played here. So he knew the coaches here and he was willing to reach out to them for me on my behalf just to talk about my skills as a player and who I am as a person, you know, basic stuff like that. And the coach emailed him back with basically information on how the walk-on process works, um, how it was like a one-day tryout. And I would just have to wait until I got to school and keep in contact with him to figure more about figure out more about that and keep in mind that this was like during covid so it's definitely less organized um more difficult to put a tryout together than normal eventually i got a date for the tryout this was uh second week of, second week of september i think it was a monday um i had been doing all my preparation and getting some swings in um staying in good shape uh, throwing i definitely felt like i was ready to put it all out there and show like everything I had. Um, so basically I think, I believe it started at 4 p.m. I got there at like 3, um, 3.15, just always gotta be early, right? Um, and you know, stretched, made sure I was totally loose. Um, met the other guys who were trying to walk on. Um, I think there were five in total. They were all really cool. Um, and then once the coach got there, basically gave us a rundown of the, what the day was gonna consist of. First, we would do fielding, um, outfield throws and infield throws and taking ground balls and such. Then uh, the 60, 60 yard dash, and then hitting in the cage and on the field. So yeah, honestly, really not a lot of opportunity to showcase what you have. Like you definitely have to be a big standout player to grab attention in something like this. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really have my expectation, expectations high. I just wanted to, you know, put it all out there, show them what I could do. And I honestly think I did my best out there. I airmailed a few outfield throws, um, but my arm felt good. I was fielding decently cleanly. I've never had like great, uh, like footwork when I'm fielding. Like I don't have those silky smooth hands you always see on the shortstops, you know? Um, but I, yeah, I tried out for outfield and infield basically just showed off what I had. Um, and then 60 yard dash, I ran my best ever at seven flat, um, which I was really excited about because I've been working on that a lot. The first 60 I ran before my junior season um, and my first showcase ever was a seven, seven, five. So the fact that I could shave off 0.7 seconds off my 60 is really good. And I honestly felt like way more athletic, like working on sprinting. It's a huge part of baseball that nobody really talks about until like you get older. 
Like, you gotta be fast um, if you wanna play at the next level. And that's just huge. Like, a seven flat is probably average for a D3 player. Um, there are not many D1 players who run a seven flat. Like, even first baseman, around that number and even like the slow guys in the MLB who you hear about they're honestly around a seven flat um, running and then hitting um, which I consider my strong point um, I hit absolute nukes you know um, yeah but I hit the ball hard honestly I think I did my best didn't put any out uh, when we got on the field it was only uh, like three or four sets of five swings on the field, which was definitely annoying. But yeah, basically, uh, once we finished hitting, um, that basically wrapped up everything, gave us the rundown, said, uh, coaches were gonna talk about it and we'd know in two weeks uh, if we'd either get an extended tryout, which was which would be practicing with the team for like two weeks, um, or they're just not interested, not don't have any spots for us. And like I said, there were five of us. So we were like, all right, cool. like this. This whole process like took like an hour, like really not a lot of time. Um, and we had to wear a mask the whole time for COVID. I was honestly like totally out of breath. Um, it was go, it was definitely a, um, like a fast paced whole thing. Like we definitely went from like, we would go like one station to the next, um, like rapid fire pretty much. Like feel, feel the ball back of the line. Two other guys go feel the ball. Um, so I did. I did kind of like that. Definitely gave you the feel of like a D1 practice because those guys play the game so fast. Um, but yeah, I didn't really know about my chances. Honestly, I thought I'd put my best out there. Um, and yeah, I waited to see. Two weeks later, email comes back. They basically just give me a polite. Uh, we don't have any spots for you, like, um, you didn't make it, and honestly, it's kind of what I expected, like, I didn't really have hopes high, high hopes for this, because I'm walking on a team that already has a recruiting class, like, they're already full roster, and even if I made the team, I read the bench for a couple seasons at least, so really not too pressed about it, um, none of the other guys... I definitely thought it was the better, one of the better ones there at the tryout, um, and I talked to some of the other guys, and none of them got um, like really a chance to extend their tryout or um, do much more. So honestly, like looking back on the whole experience, I'm definitely glad I gave it a shot. I totally recommend it, and it's kind of annoying to think that we didn't get a like a lot of opportunities to showcase our skills, but that's just how it is. You gotta really pop, and uh, if you're serious about the recruiting process, you gotta start early. You gotta give every chance to show your best. Um, show your best to these coaches, because like they, they got a lot um, on their plate. A lot of players emailing them, getting interested. You gotta stand out. Um, you gotta be persistent. Keep up the grind. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I could share this with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you guys have any questions about my recruiting process, please um, drop them down below. I'm totally down to help you guys. I consider myself to know like a lot of, a good amount about, a good amount about the whole baseball recruiting process. Um, even though I'm not playing in college now, I'm playing on the club team, just not really keeping the dream alive. Just I just love playing and that's all you gotta do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>